Hello everybody, it's Jess here with Blush Jess. Thank you so much for watching for a quick recipe video and today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect sausage gravy for biscuits or chicken or whatever you want to put it on. This stuff is amazing and you know I'm a southern girl so I'm going to show you how it's done right. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need some sausage. I just got this from Aldi. I really like it but any kind of sausage will work. I'm going to do half of this today because I'm not making a ton but you definitely could do as much as you like. You're gonna need some flour. This is what I have, the bare bones here. <laughs> a little bit of flour. You're gonna need salt and pepper, and optional is seasoned salt, but I didn't have any. Um, I just have some frozen biscuits here. By the way, these are really, really good. And then you're gonna need some sort of milk, whole milk, 2%, skim milk, whatever you have. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our sausage going in the pan. Like I said, I did about half a pound of this, and it was plenty for us. Um, I love this little chopper, so it kind of breaks, helps break up the sausage, but you're just going to get that going in a pan and you want it to get, I like to get it in little small pieces, which it'll break up as it cooks. And um, you want to just let that brown all over and get nice and kind of, you know, crispy a little bit. So I just, as it's going, I kind of just use the back of my spoon and kind of break it up. The heat is about on medium high. And this recipe is so easy, you guys. It's only a few ingredients and it comes together really, really quickly. I usually have it made before the biscuits are even done cooking. It is so yummy, you have to try it. So here you go, I've got all of the sausage broken up and it's all ready to go. You're definitely gonna wanna leave the grease in there. You need it to make your roux. I'm adding about a fourth of a cup of flour, stirring that all together and you want to let it cook. After you stir all the flour in, you're gonna let it cook for a couple minutes because nobody wants that raw flour taste in their biscuits and gravy or their gravy. So this is just gonna kinda cook and soak up all of that grease. You need the grease to make the thickening roux. That's how I do it and I always leave my sausage in the same pan. It's a one pan kinda thing. So after it cooks for a little while, maybe like I said a minute or two, you're gonna add in your milk. So I start out with a, two cups of milk, but I add it in a little bit at a time. So I'll add in the first cup and kind of get it incorporated, get it starting to thicken up, and then I'll keep stirring and I'll add the second cup. You can um, just, you're gonna have to kind of watch it. This you can make either thicker or thinner, however you like it. We like it a little more thin, so it kind of spreads out over the biscuits. So I've added in a cup here, and this will continue to thicken as it, goes on the stove. So I am going to put all two cups in and it's now on just like a low heat and it's just going to continue to thicken. So if it's sitting on the stove for a little while, you may have to add more than two cups of milk. But this recipe is so easy. It's so good. And of course, you don't want to forget to season it. You have seasoned salt. I recommend that instead of regular salt, but I don't have any. So I'm just doing pepper. Make sure you do a lot of pepper and salt and like I said the more this sits on the stove the thicker and thicker it's going to get so as it gets thicker you may just want to keep drizzling in some milk um, but it is ready to go just like it is right now that's about the texture or thickness that we like it right about there you guys this is so good so the great value biscuits are where it's at they baked up so nice and watch how this gravy just spreads out all over those biscuits. You guys, this is comfort food at its finest. This is also really good on fried chicken, you know, like chicken fried steak or, you know, anything like that, chicken fried chicken, chicken fried steak, biscuits. This stuff is delicious and it's so easy. You don't have to have any packet to make homemade sausage gravy. So I just served it with some hash browns and some watermelon and we called it breakfast for dinner. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. How do you guys make your sausage gravy? Let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new and we'll see you guys all next time. Bye y'all.